Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. All of 15 minutes ago, we had a hydraulic line break on the sawmill, which put a stop to the rest of our day. But thankfully, Grandpa is already up here and trying to get it off. But let me tell you, replacing one of these is no easy task. So hopefully this video will help anyone who has also experienced this problem because it's really challenging and tricky. It goes through the whole machine. It's complicated, but you guys will see here in a minute. Let's get into this video. Okay, I've got the line disconnected on the on the uh, cylinder back there, and I we located it. They're color coded, so now I have to feed this line down through all of this here, and it goes through a channel. It goes through an eight by about four channel here, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to. Uh, I got, a, I got a string tied on the other end, but we're going to have to feed it from that end when we put the new one in because at least there's a hole here big enough to, to get your hand in there and, and fish it out of there. So we got a line tied on it so we can use it if we need it. I'll pull this, this line out of here. Okay, you got that line, Terry? Let's see if we can... See if I can pull it out of here. Go through. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it on out. Let the wire through fish okay it's out of there so I'll take this fish off here and if we need it we'll have it when we fishing the line I thought it was a short line but it's not short by any means Okay, it's out. Getting to the end is going to be a little different. If there's a hydraulic uh, business right down the road here, and I'll take this down there and they can uh, make me up a new one pretty quick, and we'll get these girls back running. So I just went to clamp a log and heard this noise, like a squirting noise, like a ch almost, and just hydraulic fluid everywhere. I just shut off the machine instantly and gave my grandpa a call. He must have left right away because he was here in like 10 minutes and was taking that thing off. I thought that the string technique was an interesting one. I don't know if that's just standard, but that is pretty clever. Hopefully um, they can get it back on. Hopefully the place has all the parts and they can just whip up another one really quick so we can run the mill tomorrow. But um, if I'm gonna be honest, I think that it was the same one that broke last time. Uh, it was this uh, clamp right here. And I wouldn't think of it as one that we use much more than any other hydraulic, but it must be, especially if that was the same one that broke last time. I don't know, interesting. But let me know, um, the people who have the same mill, whether uh, just what your experience is with the hydraulics, whether you've had lines break before. I don't think that it got pinched or anything. I think that it was just pure where, where it was. Um, it, it wasn't somewhere where it would have gotten pinched. So uh, it must have just worn out. That's what happens. <laughs>
any dirt in this thing. Okay, now what I want to do is we have to pull this thing through. Which one is it? That one. On that line a little bit, let's get this thing started. Don't pull it too hard. Just tug on it a little bit. Let me see if I can get this. back a little bit. Let me, okay, try that one. Still nothing. Back it back. Okay. Get it past that. Nope. Just pull it about six inches, maybe. No, you have to go back, it's hung up in there. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Yeah, you can't get a hold of it through that hole. Go suck on that other end a little bit. guys know how this ends up working out and uh, let you in on our secret if it isn't just pure luck but um yes yeah, stay tuned for the results it's not going to be in today's video because this is just taking us way longer than expected but wish us luck anyways i think that that wraps it up for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow us on Instagram at Lumber Capital Log Yard for extra content. Other than that, we'll see you back here next time. Bye.